I'm Mike Kafka, professional quarterback, and your pro tip for today is the X's and O's of reading a cover two and a cover three defense. As we talked in the practice field, we were talking about a one high defense and a two high defense. Here's an example that I drew up of a couple of those. First one I'm going to talk about is a two high defense. And basically, you know, when we were on the field, we were looking at the goalpost to find out if the field was open or closed. In this instance, you look right down the middle of the field and you notice that the entire field, middle of the field was open. So we knew by that that there was a possibility that it was going to be a two-high defense. So now that the ball snapped and we know that it's a two-high defense, this is where the guys on the field, um, the defenders, are going to be in a cover two defense, the most basic two-high defense. So as we look, if we look at just the general scheme of it, right now you can tell that this defense is built around taking away the, the medium to short-range passes um, on the field. So this is basically from the line of scrimmage. LOS to about 10 yards. <clears throat> and each of these players on the, the defense have a specific role in the area on the field. The cornerbacks are responsible for the flats, which is basically from the outside um, of the, uh, the outside of the field to about eight to 10 yards inside. The next area is the curl area, which the outside linebackers are responsible for. And the middle area is the hook area, which the middle linebacker or the mic is called. And let me just go through the, the, this, the naming of these um, particular people on the field. The cornerbacks, the W is called the will linebacker or the weak side linebacker. The Mike is the middle linebacker. And the buck is what we call the strong, the strong linebacker, strong side linebacker, and also the corner. Now, in the, in the back end, we have the free safety and the strong safety. The reason why these are called the free and the strong is the strong safety tends to roll down in the coverage, which we'll talk about in the single high defense. But to go back, okay, so now that we've talked about who, who's taken away from the line of scrimmage to about 10 to 12 yards, we're gonna look at the back end, and in the cover two defense, it's built around two people being splitting the back end of the field. So these two people are responsible for the entire back end. So as a quarterback, to use this to your, um, to use this to your strength is find out where on the field are the most vulnerable for them. Where's the most space open on the field? Well, it would be obviously the middle of the field because that's open, and the seam, and these like these areas what we call hole shots, like the holes in the defense. These these areas right here. The reason why these are open is because this one defender has to cover from the middle of the field to the to the end line. So I mean that's 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 a lot of responsibility for this guy to cover. Therefore, we can exploit him by. Um, by different, by different, um, different plays that your offensive coordinator will call. Uh, for example, if we have like two seam routes going to this, going to the, going at this defender, obviously he's stuck between the two. So the one thing that you could do is run these two vertical seam routes and make him choose which guy he wants to cover. If he takes the inside guy, you throw outside. If he throw, if he takes the outside guy, you throw inside. Those are just simple ways that offensive coordinator builds plays to help you defend against the cover two defense. Okay, so now that we cover the two high, we're gonna transition into um, one high defense or most basically called the cover three. So when you look at a cover three, you can obviously notice that there are less guys down in the, from the line of scrimmage to the 10 to 12 yard area. And there's more guys in the back end compared to our cover two. But it also exploits now more space in the flat area. As you can tell right here, there's no one occupying the flats. Um, what a defense does in a cover three is it, 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 gives, it gives one thing to get one thing. So what, what, happened, what I'm saying is um, they, they give more guys in the back end to lose guys in the, in, in the shorter areas for, for passes. So when, when, a defense, when a defense does this, it's more, it, it broadens your ability to throw the ball a lot more successfully. The reason is that because of this is because they have guys that are, have to occupy two areas at once. And as an offensive coordinator and as a quarterback, you can't allow a defense to do that. So I'll just go through the quick responsibilities of the guys right here um, between zero to you know, 10 to 12 yard area. The will linebacker is responsible from the curl to the flat. The mic linebacker is responsible from the hook to the curl. The buck or the strong side linebacker is a hook to curl defender as well. The strong safety, which we were talking about um, prior in the, in the cover two defense, um, the reason why he's called a strong safety is because he tends to roll down into the box to help uh, defend against the run. The strong safety now is a curl to flat area. 
So the way a, um, an offense would work around this is to get two on ones. And the, re the, the way you create this, in this versus this defense is because these defenders are now asked to cover two areas. So let's just start over here right at the, for, against the will linebacker. Because the will linebacker is a curl, the flat defender, we want to stretch him as much as possible with two defenders so that he has to choose between the two. And I'll start right now just the, with this the easy quick hitch by the outside guy. And from the inside guy is a three-step slant, which we call a looky. So with these two, with this route combination, this makes us will decipher, pick between the inside guy or the outside guy. And the reason because of this is because we have a, a receiver running into the curl area, which is what he has to defend, but also a receiver going into the flat. So as a quarterback, when you have this kind of route combination, your only person you should be looking at is that will to, the, 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 to see if he's going to take the quick looky or the quick hitch. Um, now that you know, we've kind of talked about that, and this goes for just about every single person on, this, on, this, uh, on the defense, on the lower half of the defense. Now we look at the back end. And although they do have more guys in the backfield than the two high defense, we do notice that the field is closed. So that was one of our keys that we look for in the, in the one high defense to know what coverage it was. So we know that the field is closed, but the one thing that they do give up is what we call the seam areas. Because these defenders are now responsible for deep thirds, you have, to, you have to make sure that we can create space between the, the strong, the free safety and the cornerbacks. And the, re, the way we create space is let's just take the same um, exact uh, vertical play that we ran before, but run it with the inside receivers. So we take these inside receivers, run straight verticals. I'll erase this. Straight verticals. So this now puts the free safety in a bind. He has to choose between one of these verticals. And the way to keep the corners off these inside receivers was to, was to also be send the outside guys on verticals as well. We call this a four vertical or an all go um, in, in my playbook. So what we, so as a quarterback, you're dropping back. We know that our outside guys are gonna hold these cornerbacks from coming in on, on the inside receivers. We know that, we just trust them. We've repped it enough times to know that that's what they're gonna do. So now all we have to do is focus on this free safety. When, the, when you're taking your drop, you can either, you know, you can help look them off by staring at one defender and throwing to the other. What we wanna do is create movement by this free safety. If he moves a little bit to the left, we throw it right in the seam to the right. If he moves a little bit to the right, then we throw it right in the seam to the left. So come, coming back to what we, you know, just to kind of overview everything, there's certain areas on every defense that you have to be able to incorporate in the pass game. Um, you know, in the run game, things are a little different because you're looking at defensive linemen. But for right now, just for the basic um, coverages, these are the basic areas on the field you know, that I circled that you can exploit just by just seeing if the field is open or if it's closed. And then also in correlation to what play you ever run. Thanks again, Mike Kafka with Pro Tips.